Hello guys. Welcome to the sixth session of create custom Alexa skin using AWS Lambda function tutorials for beginners. In this session we will see what is slots and how to use it. A slot is an argument to an intent that gives Alexa more information about the request. Each slot maps with slot type. In simple terms we can say that the slot is variable within utterance and slot type is just like a data type. For example, when the user says, I want to order pizza or I want to order pasta, here term pizza or pasta is a slot. In real world usage, the user may order any other product such as a burger. Alexa skill has some predefined slot types available. We can also create our own custom slot type too. Let us switch to the browser. For this, I am going to create new intent within our skill named display greeting. In this intent, the user will specify name and we will display greeting message with person name. For example, here user may say, I am Nilay or my name is Nilay. Here the word Nilay is a slot which can be varied by user's request. To make it slot, we need to double click on this word. If you have already created any slots, then it will be listed out here. We don't have an existing slot, so we need to create a new one with name, person name by clicking the add button. You can see that it was added to intent slot table. As well as in utterances, it was placed with the name of the slot and enclosed with curly braces. Let us select name again. This time we have a slot, so select it. From here, we can change the order of slot if you have multiple slots in Intel. From this drop down, we can select slot type. Because of this, slot will represent the name of the person. So, I am going to select a person as a slot type. By clicking Edit Dialog button, we can add dialogs for reprompt or confirmation. If the slot is required, then enable it and write text that will be used when the user does not provide slot value. Let us use, please say what is your name. And for the reply, this user may say, I am person name. We can also add confirmation prompt if we want to confirm user before proceeding. Here I am writing, your name is person name, right? Note that for making this, we must need to enable dialogs. For now, I am going to remove this. Here we have added slot within utterances and select built-in slot type for it. Let us save it. Now I am going to create custom slot type. Click on slot type. Here is a table contains a list of all slots that your skill is using. Click on add to add built-in or custom slot type. Built-in slot types classified into different categories. First is list and another is other. Amazon provides many list type slots such as actor, airlines, animal, book, color, city, festival, movie, sport, state, games or many more. Along with those it also provides Date, duration, literal, number, phone number and time. If you want to use any from these, you just need to click on add button. If you want to create your own custom list which does not provide by Amazon, then we need to use the custom slot. I am going to create a new slot with the name programming languages. Here we need to add possible values for this slot. I am going to add JavaScript. PHP, c -sharp and Python. We can also add ID for those value to identify it. Let us add numeric value for those all items. To delete this value, click on delete button. We can also add synonyms for this. For example, for Python user may say Py. For c -sharp user may say c -sharp or .NET. Let us save the model. Now I am going to create a new intent for obtaining programming language that user likes. Click on add intent button. 
with name favorite language. Here the user may say I like language name or I love language name or my favorite language is language name. Type of this slot is programming language and build the model. Now let us see what we have learned in this session. Intent provides information required by our skill within an iterand. There are two kind of slot type. First is built-in. Amazon provide various slot type. And we can also create custom list type too. In next session we will see required request and response format to create lambda function. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any doubts, please feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.